Hey there, this is Sarah, your Socially Awkward Seller, and I'm coming to you with a little um, haul video. Um, I stopped at um, Valley Thrift yesterday and uh, also at Two Goodwills, and I spent about a total of $225 on these items, and I'm going to take you through them. There's nothing that, that's like mind-blowingly exciting but um, there are some good items here, and um, I don't mind bread and butter. I like toast and jam, too. Um, so the first thing is this. This is um, like premium paper. Uh, and this was like ordered from a paper supply house. And um, I didn't look it up at the store because it was $1.50. So um, I went ahead and bought it, and it looks like there's probably about 450 sheets in this. I'm guessing, I'm totally guessing. But uh, it's not a full box, but around 450 sheets. 250 sheets sold for $40, so I'm gonna try and get about 60 bucks out of this. And I don't know if I will, you know? Sometimes that stuff is just a fluke, but who knows? You're a fluke, your mom's a fluke. I picked up several Christmas items yesterday, a couple Christmas items yesterday. Um, even though the season will be over soon, um, there's always next year, and I still sell Christmas items after Christmas, and you know, um, surprisingly, several times during the year, so I don't mind. I paid three bucks for this nativity. Um, it's kind of a paint, paint it yourself sort of thing kit. It is new in the box. I'm gonna list that for about twenty, but I. I don't know what it'll get. Um, I sat down and figured out like what my gross profit, not my, gro my gross sales should be from this haul. And um, again, I spent $225 and I think I can get somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,100. Um, and again, that's gross. You're, you're gross. Your mom is gross. Um, but um, you know, it's, that's not a bad return. Um, and I'll en enjoy listing and, and uh, all that. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, this is a pretty, this is almost like slag glass, I guess. Um, and it, it is a little bejeweled hummingbird. This is not brass. It is uh, resin. But it's still very pretty. And I paid 10 bucks for it. And I usually don't pay that much. But I thought this was a really pretty one. I haven't seen them the uh, embellished hummingbird before. So I'm gonna list this for 30 bucks and see what happens. I thought this was really cool. So it did have like a coyote howling at the moon kind of thing, um, little wood. There was one here. I think there's probably supposed to be one over here too, but there was one here. And um, this is a homemade like napkin holder. And um, I paid $3 for it, and somewhere between buying it and bringing it here, I have lost the little coyote. It might be in the trunk um, or in the back seat of the car, but uh, if I find it, I'm going to glue it back on, and I'll list this for about $25, bucks. and if I don't find it, I'll probably still list it. I mean, it's still nice, and it's still got that kind of Southwest motif, motif, if you will. Um, <clears throat> I paid $3.75 for these. Um, they are those vacuum containers, and there's quite a few of them here. Let's see, there's three there. I think there's seven of them in here. I should get around 60 bucks for these, because I'll break them into two lots. Uh, I'll end up breaking the other things off of that. Sorry about that noise. Sorry about that. Um, this I paid four fifty for, and it's got two different things in it, like two different items, more than two. Um, this is a Cuisinart. Um, it's like a a drink blender that comes with all these tumblers. These tumblers I don't seem to be able to sell. Uh, and it may be that my price is too high or shipping or something. I'll have because I have about eight of them right now. Um, but this sells for about twenty dollars. 
And then this blender, blender jar only sells for about 10 to 15. Um, so I'm not going to sell this blender jar, but I am going to sell the, Man. I'm going to sell the lid that isn't on it right now and um, the blades. Uh, and I'll list both of those for around $9.99 and I'll just take whatever offer they make for the I bought this. This is a Bialetti Chocolateria or something like that. Chocolatera. I don't remember. Um, but I have another one that I brought home to test and it is missing. There's a little tube. So basically this is a hot chocolate maker and you put your milk and you know your chocolate shavings or your cocoa or whatever in it and it um, it stirs it and it heats up the uh, milk and then you add back this tube like that that middle piece comes out <clears throat> you put that back in there and then it froths it for you it's very fancy um, I can probably get about 25 bucks for this and I paid like seven for it. <clears throat> I picked this up <clears throat> for three dollars and seventy five cents and these are odd prices because they had a, a 20 25 percent off sale yesterday so I'm trying to do the math in my head and so far so good. Um, this is a really cute infinity scarf and it is University of Kentucky which happens to be my team. Um, sad news, it only sells for about seven or eight dollars, so I get to keep it. Um, not sad for me. This is kind of cute. I hadn't seen these before. This is a party light. It's called the Seasonal Silhouette. Seasonal Shadows. So it's got two of these. There's a red one and a green one, and it's got this little cup inside with these cutouts in it, so it makes that design with light um, when the photo is lit. I paid $4.99 for that, and I could not find a comp, so I don't know what it would sell for exactly. Um, I paid... Uh, 225 for this. This is a Cuisinart um, stand mixer. Yes, I, um, no. I don't remember what this goes through. I think it's maybe <clears throat> uh, their stand mixer blender combo. Um, but anyway, this um, is their whisk attachment and it sells not for a lot. I've sold it new in box before and did pretty well, but I can get about 10 bucks for that. Um, this was in a bag of stuff, so I probably have about a dollar in it. Um, it is a Brighton, a little Brighton clock. This uh, folds down and then uh, it stands like that. Um, and Brighton is pretty easy to, to like figure out because it's just it all looks the same um very ornate i think i paid a couple of bucks for some flatware yesterday maybe about six or eight dollars total um these are like the mismatch items that you know aren't worth anything or there's only one or two pieces this lot will go into my pad of no my medium flat rate box that i've got going of just mismatched flatware and then when it gets full i will list that and sell it for somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 to 50 dollars plus shipping so if you're in the flatware buying game um i don't generally purposefully just buy pieces for that box unless they're dirt cheap i mean like 10 for a dollar or something but um you know those odds and ends that you sometimes find throw them in a box and then you get that box full list those because crafters use them jewelry makers use them 
Um, I paid a dollar fifty for this. I don't know if I'll be able to sell it. Um, basically, it is the tiles uh, for a perpetual calendar. Um, but these are actual ceramic tiles with the numbers printed on them. However, they're starting to wear off. So I don't know. I'll have to um, do more research on that. Or I may just throw it up there, but not throw up. Um, and see if I can get, you know, eight bucks for them or something. This is, was in that lot with the um, Brighton. So it's prob probably about a dollar in this. This is a vintage Walt Disney World Disneyland. Um, says them both on the back. Uh, made in Japan tea bag holder or spoon rest, a little teapot. Um, this sells for about eight dollars. I picked up this Oric uh, vacuum cleaner because it had all these attachments with it. And I paid uh, four fifty or five dollars somewhere around there. Five twenty-five, whatever, whatever it takes um, for that, and that should get me about forty. Um, I bought this Kirby shampooer, and I don't mess with Kirby much anymore, but this was only three dollars, and I think I can get about twenty or twenty-five out of it. Maybe more if I decide to part it out, but I might not. There's a lot of those for sale. And I might just list it and try to get rid of it. Um, this is a new in plastic. Well, it's probably not new in plastic because... No, it is new in plastic, but they've stapled their tag to it. New in plastic uh, Bissell Wind Tunnel. Um... 20 foot extension hose and I paid uh, $2.25 for this. This sells for about $25. Um, let's see. So I picked these up for $1.50 um, because it had some Dixon pintle, pit, pencils in it, vintage ones. These Laddie Dick, Dixon pencils. I didn't look them up. Um, I just know that Dixon makes like school supplies and these are vintage because you, you can just tell from the packaging. And turns out about a, a dozen of them sell for about 10 bucks each. So I will, I've got about two dozen in there so that should be a nice little return. Um, this I paid for 54 and it is a Cisco, um, burglar alarm system and um, I've got the control box the mounting plate and then there are six six of the sensors I think three of the sensors sensors sold for about $25 uh, I'm gonna try and get $20 out of the the box and the mounting plate and am I gonna test it no because there's no way that I can um, I will list it as untested, but um, so I may list it as parts, or I may just say, if it doesn't work, contact me. Um, I do that sometimes. Uh, I picked these up because I'm a nerd and I can't help myself. Uh, it has three of these bags attached. These are Radio Shack Universal Keyboard Covers. Nerd. I paid 75 cents for these. I'm going to try and get about 10 bucks for all three. Not a lot, but I can help myself. Um, this was a nice find. I paid $3 for this. It is a Dimensions uh, cross-stitch baby blanket, baby, baby quilt. It looks like it may have been opened, but it does not appear to be started. Um, and it looks like all the thread and stuff is there. Um, this should sell for about $35. More if I want it to. I'm willing to wait. So I picked up this nativity and I paid uh, about 10 bucks for it. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 10 bucks. And um, this is from the 60s. It's made in Italy. Italy. What's my wife doing in Italy? I love that movie. It's, uh, only you. 
with Marissa Tomei and Robert Downey Jr. Um, anyway, this is Joseph, um, and there are, I think, about eight pieces of this in here. The three wise men, but one of them's damaged, um, Jesus, Mary, and a cow and a donkey. Uh, um, I am going to try and get about $40 out of this, uh, may part it out. Uh, this is, I paid 99 cents for, it's a counted cross stitch, um, stocking, but it's not one of the good ones. Some of these can fetch 50, 60 bucks. Um, this is not a very expensive one. Um, it looks like it has been opened. Uh, I think I can get about 10 bucks for it. I'm not mad about that. Uh, so lately... I have gotten into cro or jigsaw puzzles, jigsaw puzzles, jigsaw puzzles. My daughter and I put them together. One of my friends and I put them together. I am not good at it because I have some ADD issues. And, you know, when you've got a thousand piece puzzle laying out, not put together, um, it's overwhelming for my brain. But I plug along and then as it starts coming together, it, it, it gets better for me. So I really enjoy doing it. This is going to be a pain in the behind. Um, this is a Jackson Pollock puzzle that I paid uh, 99 cents for. It doesn't sell for a whole lot, but I might be able to get 10 or $12 out of it after we put it together to confirm that all the pieces are there. Um, because, you know, that's important. Uh, so, I caught a glimpse of this, and I was so drawn to it. I had to buy it. I paid um, $6 for this. And let me go ahead and take this off because you need, you need to um, just experience this in, in all her glory. So I didn't know what it was at first and on the bottom, it says that it is a Toscano European style sculpture handcrafted in China for Design Toscano. And at first when I saw, saw it, I thought it was a guy in a dress because, you know, she's got pretty sharp features and the tag was covering the hair. Um, and I'm like, that is fabulous. I love it. But I didn't know what it was. I sort of thought, it was a doorstop. And then I thought, but she's smoking and it looks like maybe her cigarette is missing. So I did some research last night. It's an incense burner. Duh. It makes perfect sense. Um, the incense makes her look like she's smoking a really long cigarette and the ashes fall on to her dress. Um, I can only find one comp for this that sold some time back on Worth Point. Uh, I'm going to list this for about 30 bucks. I just... This is so fabulous. Somebody's going to love it. Now, is it my style? No, but I understand the appeal of her with her chiseled face, you know, like her caricature looks and yeah, I just love it. So, um, I found this little Snoopy for $4 and 50 cents and he is adorable. Oh, I turned it off. I turned it off. It's cute. I'm going to try and get about 40 bucks out of this. I think it just needs new batteries and that's why it's kind of laggy, but <clears throat> it is so cute. And, um, the little plush woodstock is adorable too. <clears throat> that being said, um, I found this for five twenty-five. And um, it is a snowman, a penguin, and a puppy. <laughs> now, I don't know if it needs batteries or if it just doesn't play longer than that, but 
it's adorable. It'll be worth about $25 if I can get it to work the way it should. And I don't mind spending a little time. So I picked this up for $3. And it is this vint vintage um, Action Army set from a uh, processed plastic company. Not a very appealing name, is it? Um, I don't know. I think they should have given it, like, I mean, think about Whammo. That's such a better name. Um, but anyway, uh, this army set has, I have the original box, and I have, like, five of the pieces plus the army men. Um, but I don't have the helicopter. I don't have like the building, um, there's something else I don't have here. But um, I think I'm gonna part this out. I'll even end up parting out the box. And I should do about $40 on this as well, maybe more. I may be able to squeeze out a few more bucks. And I'm all about squeezing out those bucks, you know? Um, this is a Pampered Chef 1526 um, cookie press. And I know more about cookie presses this year than I ever have in my entire life. So, um, I've just sold two of these. One, I used one for $10 uh, and a new one for $14.99 or something. I think this was about $2 because I've already taken the, the tag off of it. But this one is actually new. Um, this is the, the plastic that they come in. They do come in a box, but I'm going to sell this as open box. Um... So I did want to tell you, and I know this video is going to be long, but I haven't made one for a couple of months, so you can just deal with a long video. I'm just kidding. Anyway, um, so uh, these sell okay for me, if you know, this time of year, price point, all that. Um, but I had three of the 1525s that just wouldn't move. They just wouldn't move, and they weren't priced that expensive. Like, they were under $20 each, plus shipping. So, I decided to just part them out. So, I ended up selling this end cap. Um, I listed them, and like two days later, they were sold out. The end cap sold for $5.51, because I always have a little sale running. Um, all sold out. The barrel, um, I think I sold the last one today, sold for $7.75, somewhere like that. So, I sold three of those. Um, and then the, um, the, the trigger part, I still have, and I still have the discs. So, um, you know, if you've got something like this and you just can't get it to move or, or something else that has a lot of multiple parts, consider parting it out. That may just be, um, you know, a way to get it to move. Uh, pick this up. This is really cute. It's called Better Not Older. I think that's what it's called. Not older, better. But, uh, um, I need a haircut. Anyway. Uh, I paid 69 cents for this. I think I'll list it. I probably should get like 7 or $8 for it. Not a fortune, but I'll do okay. Um, this I got at that, um, new little thrift store that I found. Um, and I forgot to show it in last week's video. But it's a velour robe. It's vintage. Uh, it's a men's robe. And it is from Kmart. Uh, probably from the 70s or 80s. I paid $2.50 for it. I have no idea what that's going to sell for. Could be 10 bucks. Could be 30 bucks. No clue. Got a hair in my mouth. Sorry. Um, I paid $3 for this guy. And for those of you who don't know who this is, this is Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. And um, it's a video game. And I don't know why, but the kids love it. It's scary, but the, the little kids seem to love it. Uh, I paid three bucks for him. He sells for about 30. Uh, oh, there's good stuff in this. Good, good stuff. This is the, the most fun tub, and it's the last tub of things that I have for sale. Um, this is a Miro uh, cookie press. You can part these, or you can sell them together. This one I'll sell together because it looks like it's complete. So this one's got the cookie press, and some of them came with this wooden stand and about a dozen discs. Um, I paid $3 for this, and this will probably sell for about $25. And if it doesn't, I'll part it out. 
Um, I got these Cuisinart blades. I paid three dollars for those. I'm hoping to get about forty dollars. It looks like there might be two sets in here, so we'll see. I haven't even opened that yet. Um, so the first place that I went to, I was having, you know, it was a Goodwill, and I was having a hard time finding anything. I did end up spending about fifty something dollars in there. Um, I did end up finding some stuff, but um, they brought out this cart that had these. These are Kurt Adler angel uh, figures. Um, I paid $1.99 for them. I think I can get $10 to $15 for these. And I have four, four like this. I'm not going to show you any of them. Um, this was also in that um, Brighton bag. So I got the clock. I got the, um, the, the tea bag holder. And I got these. These are unmarked. Um, there were three of them, but one of them was broken and repaired, so I didn't notice that it was broken. Let's be honest, if you watch me at all, you know I probably wouldn't have noticed if it was actually broken in the bag because I'm just not, I don't pay attention. But I am going to list these anyway and probably try and get five, ten, five six bucks for them. Um, cute little scoops. Very cute. But again, they're unmarked. Uh, so I also picked up this Kurt Adler lighted house. I paid five dollars for this and it looks like it goes for around 25. I had never never seen this before um, but I picked it up because I thought it might be worth something. Um, it's called Caddish Chic. Um, I'm saying it that way because that's the way they say to pronounce it on the front and it is like a Catholic trivia game. I paid three dollars for it and it looks like it goes for about 15. Um, so I didn't, okay, these were all in a bag together and there were some other things with them and it was $1.50 for this bag of stuff and, and I'm like, oh, those are like pat patterns for stuff. I'll buy those. Um, I probably could squeeze out a few bucks, but what I didn't know is this pattern is called Women's Voices, a Civil War Quilt and, um, before her you start yelling at me because of the Civil War. It doesn't have anything that is offensive on it to anybody. Um, so, or at least I don't think that it does. I mean, there, there's no rebel flag or anything. Most of them are just quilt block patterns. And then there's a house and a couple of flags, United States flags. But anyway, um, so there, I'm like, oh, they're all the same thing. So that's a multi-quantity listing. That's cool. Then I look at the back. There are 13 uh, blocks in this quilt. So if you're like, for example, if you're making a, a, a queen size quilt, you would make two of each. And then the 13th block is like the outer band. So you'd make however many of those you need. It Each one of these is a pattern for one of those blocks. So I'm like, that's cool. So I um, went and researched it. This just sold for like 40 bucks. Okay. You do you, boo-boo. So I'm going to list those for about $40. There's not any others listed right now. Um, I couldn't stop myself. Um, this is a vintage wire handbag in gold. And it's got this cute little latch on the top. And I paid $3 for it. Look at this gold interior. It is, again, made in Hong Kong. And I, I'm going to list this for about $25. Because it's cute. Um, home interiors horse. I didn't even know they made these. Um, it's really well done, actually. I'm kind of impressed. And there were no chips on it. Um, I paid $5.25 for this guy. I didn't see this one sold. I'm just hoping I can get $20 out of him. That's what I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. Um, here's a couple of disappointments. You know, like I am to my mother. Whatever. Um, this is a Marjolaine Baskin puzzle. Uh, not a Carol Baskin puzzle. That's different. Um, no tigers, no dead husbands. Um, anyway, uh, I thought this would sell for more. 
it's not worth that much. Maybe 10 bucks. I paid three for it. Um, and it won't suck too bad putting it together. Not too bad. Uh, here's another disappointment. I hope you're not looking at my butt. But maybe you are. Um, uh, not, this is not the disappointment. This is cute FTD, um, so flowers came in it. Um, Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, Tigger, adorable, um, little ceramic vase. Uh, I paid two twenty five for it. Got chip. So hey, if somebody wants this, the first person that tells me in the comments that they want this, um, I will ship to you. You might get it in a year and a half because the post office is running way behind, but. I will ship it to you as a gift. Um, this was in a bag of goodies. Actually, those scoops were not in the bag with the other stuff. It was in a bag with these, with this. This is um, a vintage Echo, like the Echo flatware, Echo cookware um, pastry roller. And it's been well loved because you can feel grease right on it. It's got grease. Um, <clears throat> but... Um, so this, I have almost nothing in, because maybe 75 cents. And this looks like it'll sell for about $8. I didn't even know what it was. I had to do research, too. I thought it was probably a pastry roller, but I didn't know. It could have been used for some kind of scrapbooking thing or um, printing ink thing. I don't know. I was just making stuff up. Uh, I bought this bag of three uh, eyeglasses cases. I paid two dollars or something for them and it had a Ray-Ban case and this Juicy Couture case and a Ralph Lauren case so I I opened it and the Ray-Ban was not authentic it felt so cheap so I just chucked that the Ralph Lauren had damage I chucked that I can probably get about ten dollars for this Juicy Couture uh, clamshell eyeglasses case and we just move on with our lives, right? That's what I'm doing. Uh, I paid, okay, so it was 49 cents and it was 25% off. Um, this is Laurel Birch and she does these cats and they're fabulous. They are just awesome. And um, I couldn't find this particular mug for sale, but her, her mugs do sell her other pieces sell as well. She does all kinds of stuff. Um, and uh, I'm going to list this for about 20 bucks and see what happens. Just a couple more things to show you. I haven't tested this yet. But if it works, it should be around $40. Um, it is Mr. Christmas. I love Mr. Christmas stuff. It's Santa's marching band. And they are basically nutcrackers that play bells. And some of them, one of them lost their little, their little dinger. See, look how upset he is that he lost his dinger. Should be right there. But uh, I found it. It was a little thing. I found it, so I'm going to fix it. But, um, again, this should sell for about $40 uh, if it works as it should. And you know me. I'll sell it for parts if it doesn't, like for parts of repair. <clears throat> or I'll pull those little dingers off and sell those because that's what I do. A couple more things. Um, in that flatware I was talking about earlier, the only, like, actual pieces that I can sell are these Oneida um, these are um, these are cocktail forks cocktail forks who wants to eat a rooster's butt anyway cocktail anyhow um, I think I can probably get about 10 maybe maybe 12 I, ha I don't know the pattern so I'm gonna have to spend some time could be eight dollars could be thirty dollars I don't know um, and then these are Oneida craft um, Oneida has all these different lines um, kind of a plain 
um, with a little embellishment right there, um, iced teaspoon. And I think there are 14 of these. Um, I think I can probably eat, very easily get uh, selling them in lots. Uh, you know, eight bucks a lot. So I probably could get about $24 for these. Again, I don't know the pattern. I don't know what those are worth. I don't know if they'll ever sell. But my flatware that sits and sits and sits and does not sell, I eventually pull and put in that box I was talking about earlier. So it's not a loss, you know? All right. Oh, finally, I bought this bag that had these in it because I knew that they were some kind of decorative thing for something. Um, I think they might slide over a candle, but if you know what these are, tell me. So, um, there are these four wooden pieces that are wired together. Let me drink. Sweet tea. And, uh, and they're embellished with these little ribbons. And then, so you can change them for, you know, there's your fall Thanksgiving one. And yes, we're going to go through them all. Uh, and here's your Easter one. Here's your Christmas one, as Holly used to say, Crickamus. Um, oh, here's a Halloween one. That was cute. Look at that. Look at that little black cat. Adorable. Um, and Valentine's Day. <clears throat> now the quality quality of these feels kind of like something you would get out of a Lillian Vernon catalog or something like that, but still cute. So if you know what they are, tell me. Let me know. Um, so that's it. Um, I appreciate you being here. And on Christmas Eve, the Valley Thrift is having a fifty percent off sale. So I'm gonna hightail my hand in up to Cincinnati and um, see what I can find. Um, so it's Tuesday night. I got all this stuff to list. Yeah, that ain't happening. But I'm going to do as best as I can to get it all listed. My sales are still pretty good. I shipped out eight this morning. And, uh, you know, I can't complain about that. So um, I didn't find as many appliances as I wanted to. I did buy my son-in-law a new coffee pot. Well, let's do this new coffee pot, uh, which he's very happy with, um, that was not included in this haul. But anyway, I'm done rambling. Thank you for being here. I always appreciate your support. Uh, thank you for everyone that has reached out to me in my time of, of struggle and, and, um, difficulty. Um, I appreciate you, you know, that you basically will let a stranger come into your home, techn you know, virtually. Um, and that you will treat me like family on the social medias. So I appreciate you. Um, just remember that the dream works when you do. So keep dreaming. Keep working. I'll see you guys the next time.